If you didn't already know, Fragmentation isn't currently working as we expect in Escape from Tarkov. If you've seen Veritas' video, my other video about post raid healing, or One Peg's Fragmentation video, then you already know this. Hello everyone, this is CZTL, and today we're going to be covering the current state of Fragmentation in more detail. Fellow content creator One Peg, who you should follow if you aren't already, made a follow-up video after I claimed that Fragmentation was bugged, and we discussed it in Twitch chat that some things need to be tested more. Fragmentation potentially being bugged. He stopped into my chat, uh, I believe yesterday, and said something to the effect of fragmentation is broken and doesn't do 1.5x damage anymore. It does more than that. And of course, I naturally responded with bullshit. Uh, I don't think that that's the case. That doesn't make any sense. Where's the proof? To be fair, I think I probably came off a little bit more harsh than I wanted to. This video is a result of that and some additional interesting findings from a bunch of testing I did with different guns, ammos, scenarios, both online and offline. The first thing that I wanted to test was, did this issue happen with different guns? So instead of the ADAR, I tested the Star L. With M855 that does 53 damage normally, the fragment damage was 92. This was consistent with my original findings. Next, I wanted to test out other ammunition of that caliber. So I went to Woods to kneecap this Lumberjack with 5.56 FMJ. FMJ deals 54 damage, has 23 pen, and a 50% chance to fragment. I didn't quite get the results I was expecting here with 68.5% more damage, although that is greater than 50% more. Next, staying in the same caliber, I wanted to test if muzzle velocity had any impact on damage dealt. I ended up using this M4, which shoots 147 meters per second slower. The results were pretty much the same, dealing 90 damage. So then I went on to test different calibers. I moved on to 545 by 39, where I could rule out the muzzle velocity theory by comparing two guns that had a 179 meters per second muzzle velocity difference and a bullet velocity difference of 148 meters per second. I used 545 by 39 PS ammo, which does 48 damage and has a fragmentation chance of 40%. When the bullet fragmented, I did 92 damage with both guns, so it seems like muzzle velocity has no impact on the amount of fragmentation damage that you take. There were two interesting pieces about this test. Number one, this was a live raid, so we can confirm that this isn't just happening in offline co-op. And the second is that fragments did a higher percent damage compared to 5.56 five, right. at 1.9 times damage. Next, I wanted to see if radial damage was causing the problem, so I went with the lowest damage 556 round I could find, SSAP, which does 38 damage. This ended up doing a lot more damage than I thought, dealing 73 damage or 1.9 times upon fragment. This means that rating damage likely isn't the root cause of the problem, but to see what effect it plays, we needed to test a bullet with less damage. So I went on to test next APSX to see if the overflow damage was contributing to the problem. 4.6x30 APSX deals 35 damage with a 10% chance to fragment. When it fragmented in this case, it did 64 damage to my right leg, giving it just enough HP not to be blacked out. This allows us to know for sure that the increase in fragmentation isn't due to overflow damage distribution. With that hypothesis out of the way, I went to test more calibers. I tested 300 blackout next, and just wow. I used BCP FMJ which deals 60 damage and has a 30% fragmentation chance. When this fragmented, it ended up doing 95 damage. Wait, what? That's only 1.58 times! Something's up! Whenever something fragmented, it did 1.8 times the amount of damage that was shown on the sheet. Reliably so, 1.8 times damage when hitting a leg. At this point, I had to test a few more calibers out to see what's going on here. Is it ammo speed that's causing this discrepancy? This round was the slowest one that we tested thus far at 605 meters per second, and we already ruled out weapon velocity. So I went to test 9x21 to see if ammo speed played into it. I used 9x21 PS ammo which travels at 410 meters per second. 9x21 PS ammo does 49 damage, and upon fragmenting, we saw that we took 81 damage. That is 1.8 times the normal amount of damage taken. So it does not look like ammo speed is the sole cause of the decrease of fragmentation damage percent. I thought I might gain some insight by switching to a tiny round, so I went with the 9x19 PST GCH, which led me to some of my most interesting findings. There's 54 damage and a fragmentation chance of 15%. 
When this fragmented, it did 80 damage, just below 1.5 times. I was intrigued when I saw this, so I did some more testing, and I found another very interesting discovery. Bullets can fragment when they hit the stomach, but the damage gets applied to the limbs instead of the stomach. Fucking what? What? This is one of the weirdest things that I've seen, but I've reproduced it three times within the same raid. I was not able to reproduce this, however, with 5.56 or when shooting the thorax, though. Although, my 60 round sample size may not have been big enough. My current theory is that these rounds have broken fragmentation damage modifiers, and they won't fragment when they hit the stomach because of that. So that concludes my basic testing for fragmentation, but what happens in cases, for instance, when you inject a Maldonado instead? In this test, we're using 5.56 FMJ again, which does 54 damage. When the bullet fragments, we deal 82 damage, which is consistent with the 1.5 times we should be doing, but in reality, the melodonin is taking just over 10% off from the previous damage we were dealt. Now, what happens if you fragment a bullet at 100 meters? Ask me later, I don't know right now. With the same ammo, at 100 meters, it has 21 pen and 50 damage. We end up doing 82 damage to the target. That is 1.64 times the 100 meter damage, and 1.5 times the listed bullet damage. What about at 200? 300 meters? With FMJ, the pen falls below 20, so I couldn't get a single shot to fragment. Interestingly, I saw the same thing with M855, which should have a high enough pen according to Tarkov Ballistics to fragment. I wonder if losing energy lessens your chance to fragment, but it's hard to know for sure. I don't fucking know shit! So the moral of this video is fragmentation is now either very complicated or it's bugged. And I currently don't know what would cause the differences in fragmentation damage. If you have an idea, let me know down below in the comments. If you found this video helpful, interesting, or god forbid entertaining, smash the like out of that shit button, consider subscribing for more Tarkov content like this in the future, and I will see you on the battlefield. CCTL out.